Hi, we're back. No poopy yet, but you can see he's alert. <laughs> he's alert and he's got his eyes closed, but he's holding his head up and he's licking because I just gave him some phoenix worms and I gave him some baby food. Now the phoenix worms and the baby food are in here. This is the, the baby food, and this is just a, like a medication dropper that you get from the vet. And it indicates how many milliliters. It goes gradient all the way up to 1.0 milliliters. So normally he'll get uh, 4 to 6 milliliters, and um, Baba will get the other 4 to 6 or whatever. And then in between we have these lovely little phoenix worms that are just perfect for them. So I give him some of his food and I just go like this. It's a very it's a plastic tip, so I just go that way, just slide it in his little mouth, put a little bit in there, and he chug a lugs and licks it down. Then while he's licking his chops, I get a little phoenix worm in there. Which can be a bit tricky. And I just poke it in there on his tongue. And sometimes it's a minute or two before he takes it down. There he goes. Yes. Good, good. And you just saw I just saw it go down. Now, here I have the same chicken baby food, but to it I've added some um very, very finely chopped collard greens, dandelion greens, and a tiny bit of kale. So this is just a little bit of veg. I've put it in the chicken. I've heated it up in the microwave. This is not hot now, but it was actually steamed with the chicken a couple of times. So now this is a rubber-tipped tweezer that I got at the craft store. And this, I can kind of just try and get this into his little mouth, and hopefully he'll lick it up. There you go. Come on, Bubba. Come on, darling. Come on, Brownie. And you just stroke their little throats. And then eventually you'll see him go, oh, yeah, there's food there. There we go. And you can see him swallowing down that little piece of green. It might not seem like a lot, but it's important for his system to start getting these little amounts so that it can start processing and digesting them. Very little, little bits. And just tucking them in his little mouth. And he chomps them down. Now I know you say, oh, she's hand feeding them, she's hand feeding them. That might not be the best thing to do, but it's either that or watch him die, because they did not have the strength to eat. Even now, he's just getting so exhausted from eating. And we're going to put him in the warm water. I'll rub his throat a little bit. You see that, sim that stimulates the reflex to start taking stuff down. And now I'll put him in the warm water. <coughs> and you got to watch him because he just relaxes so much his little head falls in. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And he'll sit in there for a little bit. Because I really would like him to have a movement. So I'm going to put him on the towel here. And cover him up while I feed his little clutch mate here, Bubba. And I've taken to calling her Bubba because I don't know if you can see her little lip, the way it sticks out a little bit at the bottom here. She's got a little underbite. <laughs> so that's why I called her Bubba, like Bubba Gump Shrimp from the movie because that's what she reminded me of. So let's go through, through the same procedure here. Now this is some water, half water, half Pedialyte, that I squeeze up into this rather big dropper. 
and then I give them some of this, just a drop on their nose or so, and two or three times a day I'll just open their mouths and just drip it in and rub their throat. The electrolytes in the unflavored Pedialyte stimulates their appetite and also helps them get hydrated. Even though I'm feeding them phoenix worms and baby food, it's not necessarily the moisture that their body requires. They do also need water. So here, he's not so big on this little tube, but once he tastes it, he starts lapping it up. There you go. There you go. That was just a little bit. Now you see he's starting to put up a fight. That's what I like to see. There you go. Chug a log. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. You can see he's getting all dark. He's not too thrilled with me. Come on. <laughs> and now we're going to give him some Phoenix worms. Excuse me while I check. They were always crawling out. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four. Just put them on my lap here. They're very active. You can see they've crawled out of the bowl there. So there's the one. Or five. So I'll give them two at a time. That's it. And he actually likes the phoenix worms, so he'll usually take them in and eat them up. Now you can see him. Instead of spitting it out, he's trying to get it with his tongue. Get it? There you go. Oh, is it too big for you, Bubba? There. Come on, don't make a liar out of me. And there's two more. Come on, darling. There you go. Oh! <laughs> Come on. The worm's crawling out and he's trying to get it in. There you go. Oh, oh. There you go. Come on. There's a good bubba. There's a good bubba. I usually try and do three, three, two or three at once because I don't like forcing them to take this thing in their mouths. But it, it has to be done because they're just having a really hard time eating and digesting. So getting it in there is the important thing. There you go. There you go, Bubba. And once more with feeling, I'll put some chicken and some greens on this one. Oops. Come on, Bubba. There you go, darling. Come on, Bubba. There you go. Good Bubba. Look, 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 look. Look at Brownie. You see Brownie starting to move around? His head's moving there because he's swallowing. But he was just moving his, moving his back legs. I think he might want to have a bowel movement. I noticed the cloth moving, so that's why my attention turned to him. Come on, poop, Bubba. Poop, babies. I need some poop out of you. Oh, he's fast asleep again. So now I'm going to give some more of this stuff. That's another. And he's happily taking it down. Yeah, is that good? 
Yeah, Bubba, here's some more for you. So again, some more of the greens. And you just hold the side of their little mouth and open it up and then you can kind of get in what you can and just tuck it in there. I'm not hurting him by any means. If I was hurting him, he'd be very upset with me and really putting up a fight. So I'm just going to tuck that in his mouth. Look at his little messy face. Now I'll give him a minute and I'll rub his little throat. And stand him up. And in a second he'll start licking it down. Come on, darling. Come on, darling. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. Good, good, Baba. Wipe your little face. He's still got some greens in his mouth, so we'll keep hanging on to him and making sure that he swallows it down. I'm just watching. You can see his colors better now. It's not as dark as it was originally when I picked him up. And I can see his little throat swallowing, if you look at the side. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Finish what you got in your mouth. Don't be a squirrel. Come on. And now I'm going to very gently massage their bellies. They're very warm. And they're fed. So I'm going to massage their bellies a little bit. I'm going to lay him down here next to his hatch mate. Now I'm going to go and get some fresh water, nice and warm, and put some in some warm water for again about five or ten minutes. And then I'll put them back in their viv under their light and their UVA, UVB to keep warm, digest, and hopefully have a really nice poop. Okay? <laughs> Take care. I'll talk to you later.